So recently I built an express middleware with TypeScript called console log middleware that works alongside my Chrome extension console log to allow users to view server logs in the console. So for example, these logs right here on this express server are being shown in the browser along with the file location, uh, status, and it can display objects, stuff like that. However, when I initially published this package to NPM, let me show you the package right here. In my distribution folder, it only consisted of this right here, ESM, and a single index.js file that used ECMA script, export, and import. So right here, ECMA export. The way I did this is I set in the TypeScript compiler, I configured it for the module to be ES next. And this means that the outputted code will have import and export throughout. And an issue with this is compatibility, because when you require an ES module package in CommonJS, you can get an error like the following. Let me show you. Here's a CommonJS module, which we can tell by inside the package.json. We don't have type set to module. We have no type key. And this right here is an ECMA script module that I pushed up to NPM. And if I run this file, we will get an error like this saying that require of ESM module is not supported because we're in a common JS environment and this is using import and export. So if you don't know, node modules have different formatting systems or module formatting systems, which means that there are different syntaxes used to work with node modules. And one of these systems is common JS, which uses require like we can see right here. And another is ECMA script, which uses import and export like my module here. If we go into this package, we can see I've export default and they're not always and they're not compatible with each other. So a way I handled this, and I did not use a module bundler actually because this is pretty small middleware right here. Instead, what I did is I used this key right here called exports. I'll zoom in if you can't see this. But essentially what this key does is if someone uses require, they will be given this entry point file. If someone uses import, they will be given this entry point file. So this entry point file uses ECMA script, and this one for require uses common JS. And the way I can get this code to do this is using separate TypeScript configuration files. So I have a tsconfig.cjs.json and .esm.json. And really the main difference in these files, so this is the cjs, and this right here is esm. If I split this one to the right, the main difference is this module key right here, which is esnext for esm and commonjs for the cjs one. And then we have different output directories. And so what this ends up doing is creating a dist folder with a CJS output, and if we look in here, of course this is gonna look weird because it's using um, compiled down, but essentially this uses common JS, and then this one right here uses ECMA script. So this looks a lot cleaner, and it's just the using export. And then also what I did is to build this is I just have separate build commands. So build CJS, build ESM, and so on. So now essentially what this means is this middleware can be used easily with both require and import because this exports key will provide the correct file. And this is great because I'm not alienating other users or certain users from using my middleware right here. So if you are using Express and you like to get logs in your console, uh, consider downloading my Chrome extension called console log. And then you can use this middleware here to get your server logs also in the browser. But that's all I wanted to show you in this video. If you like stuff like this, check out my courses linked in the description, also my software. But besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing and take care.